Denmark's defense giant is stepping up to modernize the Royal Danish Army's air defense with a very short-range air defense system. This is the first major order of a 30-year framework agreement between Terma and the Danish Ministry of Defense Acquisition and Logistics Organization. The new system is going to be integrating advanced sensors, including radar, with the Sky Ranger 30 effector from Rheinmetall. All of this is going to be controlled by Terma's proprietary software, the BMD Flex. The any sensor best shooter concept means any platform, whether it's on land, sea, or air, can detect threats and choose the best response to neutralize them. Uh, obviously, their solution to design work seamless, seamlessly. Okay, yeah, that, that, there lies the biggest challenge, isn't it? Yeah. Is that integration of diverse systems, ensuring you've got seamless real-time communication and decision-making across all of these different platforms and mm -hmm. sensors within any, was it any sensor best shooter. Shooter, yes. Framework. Yeah, that's that's the challenge. Yeah. I, I, I agree that challenge is any sensor best shooter is pretty fantastic. And this yep. is this is the first order of, what did you say, a 30-year framework that Termo and, and Terma and Dallo signed last year. Yep. It sounds like it's a big integration of advanced sensors with the entire system control with Terma's proprietary command and control software, BMD Flex. It's going to communicate through Terma's infrastructure. So for me, this one's going to be a focus on integration within the context of requirements or maybe requirements within the context of integration. I mean, the any sensor best shooter approach, which allows any sensor mounted anywhere on the vehicle, ship or aircraft to detect the incoming threats and quickly determine the most effective way to neutralize that. So it's got to communicate across different platforms, get very good response time into this defense system, collaborating with the other air defense systems and make sure that it's able to, to do all of that collaboration and integration in real time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's your biggest challenge. What what are, what are you going to say is a bigger one? No, no, you, you're, you're right. Focus on integration within the context of requirements. Uh, spot on. Yeah. But I go a little, I go another step further. Um, requirements are critical, but the real challenge for me is ensuring real time data flow decision and, and decision making across all of these different diverse platforms. So that any sense of best shooter approach will only work if all of the systems can exchange data instantly and reliably in now, live. Before you scenario. say the thing I know you want to say, Greg, do you remember last week, Andrew made us a promise? He did. He did. And I, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to stick with it, right? No, it wasn't really a promise, was it? Let's be honest, because when you're talking about this kind of stuff, you, you've got to go AI to start fixing a lot of this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, requirements management is part of it, absolutely, but it's not the core issue. For me, it's that ongoing real-time synchronization, the agility of your systems that's going to really define your success here. So only solution using critical thread overlaid with AI is unified systems integration and real-time data flow requirements management traceability yeah real-time data synchronization you've got to get your change management working but honestly predictive systems monitoring is going to be the big one ai can monitor all of your systems for potential communication or operational failures and prevent integration issues in real-time operations you've got to get that plugged in on top of the whole critical thread side of things couldn't even Greg, make it past the first article. <laughs> Greg, Greg, you, you, you owe me $5. Well, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll end. Demo you later. <laughs> yeah.